you're doing so many things in your life. Where would comedy fit in your current uh, retinue of your schedule of things? I'm, pr I'm a profoundly serious man, mm. but uh, uh, usually my seriousness takes the form of making people laugh. Mm. Uh, that's a temperamental question. I can't help it. I see the funny side of many things. Uh, perhaps I have to control that side of myself uh, more than necessary. Uh, I know that when I was being knighted, I was kneeling before the Queen, and she put the sword on one shoulder and then lifted it an absurd height above her head. She's a tiny woman. Uh, uh, before gauging it very carefully and bringing it down on the other shoulder. And I thought at that moment there must have been a disaster before I got there with the previous man in which he thought she could go from one shoulder to the other without raising the, the, the sword. Um, now, I wouldn't have had that kind of thought <laughs> unless I'd been inclined to think that way. Also, when I was, uh, I was just about to make my speech of entry into the French Academy, uh, which is a very rare privilege for a foreigner. There are only 15 foreigners there. And I got the seat of Orson Welles. I had to make a speech about him, but I got there early in order to try and find out what to do with my sword. Because I'm not usually a sword carrier in the street. And there were so many leather works and holes that I was not sure where the sword went. And while I was thinking about that, suddenly, and the door opened uh, from another part of the wardrobe and a very old gentleman appeared dressed in nothing but uh, a thermal underwear <laughs> from his neck to his feet and on the thermal underwear on his chest the great cross of the Legion of Honor and he looked absolutely absurd <laughs> and he saw me looking at him and he said yes if I don't wear it, I forget it. Uh, well, there again. It only happens to me, those moments. <laughs>